we have indeed we've got a beautiful monitor lizard and this is fast becoming my favorite monitor lizard he's obviously lying like that and sleeping because of how far he's traveled i've seen his tracks coming all the way from Vuyatela camp all the way down to Dams, and eventually ended up here and has now found himself a branch but most days that i come past Dams, i find this monitor lizard lounging in the boughs of one of these fallen over trees and spending its day having a nice rest. Now the reason why it's here is because this is a place of plenty at the moment. There will be so many frogs that will be hidden amongst this vegetation where the water is that it's a great place for this monitor lizard to be hunting. And so while it is resting and looks very sedate in the branches at the moment, it is definitely going to start to become more when the frogs start to get active you'll find these monitor lizards after absorbing sunshine and getting their body temperature up will then start to move around in the cover of the darkness through this vegetated water and they'll try and hunt those frogs that are trying to take refuge here so this monitor lizard is a very clever one it's got itself a perfect place now look at the feet that's amazing you can see those long claws now those claws are there just to give traction when they're walking over slippery surfaces like mud because they spend a lot of time around water they often have to go through those kind of areas so that just helps to give traction and also to be able to climb trees they can grip but you can see how long the fingers are now they'll close those fingers up and when they're swimming they'll be able to use not only their tail but those legs sometimes will help with just being able to sort of rudder them and get them into position they obviously don't help in actually paddling because when a monitor lizard paddles or swims those legs tuck up against the side and the tail then does all the work but just to be able to balance and to kind of just adjust the way that their body's facing they'll use those big hands to be able to do that so very very cool that you can see them it's not something that we get to see that often because generally they've got their hands tucked away when they're on a branch like this so nice to see it hanging down but that is one very very relaxed lizard very very happy very intelligent and very cunning little creatures so, uh, it's tumultuous relationship so if you did not hear me I was saying that one of the lizards cunning creatures they're very very clever and, and often you'll find monitor lizards in areas where there's some sort of food item that they can make use of and one of their sort of favorite items of food that they go after is actually crocodiles eggs so anywhere where you've got crocodiles chipped with dam you'll find the monitor lizards give the crocodiles a hard time so that's why when a crocodile mother has her eggs she'll often lie right next to the nest to prevent these guys coming and digging them up and eating them they've got an incredible sense of smell using that forked tongue that comes out and they're able to then pick up these eggs in the sand and they come and they dig them out and then eat them they're also a major problem for birds so things like our ducks that we've seen around here a few times when they had find them also at lodges they realize very quickly that us as humans are not stupid and that when we use thatch roofs a thatch roof is the perfect place for a monitor lizard to live it's got nice sort of insulated thatch all around it and it is, can go up into there 